Hi there everyone, here again with another ShareFactory tutorial. Many users often ask us how they can add their own imagery into ShareFactory projects. There are a few different ways you can do this. Some involve using the share button to capture your own screenshots. Some involve changing your profile picture to add your own imagery in as a sticker. We're going to go over some of the different methods you can use to add your own projects and how to best use them. The first tip involves using your profile picture as a custom sticker. Profile pictures are personalized images you can add to your PSN profiles when using the Real Names feature. To edit this picture, select the Extended Menu options in your profile, then select Edit Profile. Here you'll find the options to modify your profile picture. There are three options for how you can set your profile picture. You can connect a Facebook account, you can use a copy of your PSN avatar, or you can import an image directly from the PlayStation app from your mobile device. For our purposes, we're going to use the PlayStation app. Now on your mobile device, launch the PlayStation app and tap the profile in the upper right corner. Select Edit Profile, Change Profile Picture. This will launch your default gallery app and allow you to select any image stored on your device. When selecting an image to add as your profile picture, there are a few things to keep in mind. Images are constrained to one by one squares. So you may need to edit your desired image in photo editors to adjust their canvas sizes so you can import all of the areas you want. Profile pictures also support transparent areas when using PNG rather than JPEG. This effect will transfer into your ShareFactory stickers. Once your profile picture updates in all areas of the dynamic menu, you can now add the custom sticker into your ShareFactory projects from Choose Overlays. Be sure to export your projects before changing your profile picture again as these images will change to your new ones in any saved projects. The next option involves using the share button to capture screenshots in the web browser. Upload your custom artwork or images to any online service that you can readily navigate to in the web browser. Full screen this image and use the share button to capture this image as a screenshot in the capture gallery. Now you can use this custom image as a backdrop in your projects. Alternatively, you can also use the PlayStation Messenger app to send images. Attach any image from your device into a message on the PlayStation Messenger app, then view the same message on your PlayStation 4. You can now full screen this image on your PlayStation 4 and screenshot it with the share button. Finally, with many of the tips I demonstrated in this tutorial, I seem to catch a few people's attention with the small promo video I did for the European PlayStation Forums contest, A Tourist Guide to Uncharted 4. First, I screenshot Lord Ross' posts on the PlayStation form. Using any photo editor, I added a green background and cropped the image to 16 by 9 ratio to fill the screen. Using the previous methods, I used the share button to add this image into the capture gallery. Editing the image into a Share Factory video clip, I then added the clip into track 2 and applied green screen. Don't forget to set your PIP layout to full screen when using this method. Now add any video to track 1 as a backdrop and you should see the final result. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about some of the topics we covered in this video, such as green screen effects, feel free to check our full playlist in the link below. Thanks everyone.